Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 8. And we're actually going to do the Sunday Cup for this event. And we have a new used car lineup, so probably the car that I was thinking of isn't going to be here now. So, I'm actually going to be buying a new car for the Sunday Cup because I do not want to use a Volkswagen Lupo because... Well, because it's a fucking Volkswagen Lupo. So, we gotta find something else. Something with preferably. Preferably. I'm not redoing it. Fuck it. Something with preferably low horsepower. The Miata's gonna be a little too good for it. So, I gotta find something that's even shittier. Alright, so thankfully the car I wanted to buy is actually still in here. We have the Suzuki Cappuccino. So, yeah. I wasn't familiar with this car back whenever I played this game, but seeing it around on YouTube, thought it was kind of cool. Kind of don't like the color this one is in, but I'm going to use it. Plus, I could use it for a couple other events that require smaller cars. So, we're going to do the usual, do the oil change, and I think that should be the only thing we need because this car only weighs 700 kilograms, which is insane. That alone, I think, will have a pretty good shot at doing well in the Sunday Cup. So we gotta wait for this animation to finish. Woo, woo, woo. And any time now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Enough waiting. Oh, no, I do not want to exit GT mode. Alright, so here we go with the Sunday Cup. Hardly jack shit for price credits, but hey, it's part of the game, we gotta do it. So, we have five different races here. Um, Mategi Short, Driving Park, Beginner Course, Autumn Ring Mini, yeah, 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 you, you see everything. So, first race at Autumn Ring Mini. I don't remember this kind of menu or loading screen. Huh. It's supposed to be the GT logo for that, but whatever. So, I'm going to do the usual, turning off the aids, driving aids, STD aids, same shit. Alright, now that I gave this car the aids vaccine, let's go. We're actually against the Miata, so I'm expecting a decent high amount of A-spec points. Oh god. That's quite a lot of A-spec points. Hmm. I guess we'll see what happens. You can see how tiny the car is compared to everything else. This thing is like smaller than a Honda Beat. It's a cute little thing. But the size alone and the weight will make up for the lack of power. At least I hope. Get rid of the get ready to drive shit. Oh yeah. I'm gonna cut the corner and smack. Already driving terrible. As long as I keep my momentum up, I should have a chance at winning this. Okay, that car is gonna get in my way. I'm gonna cut the corner a little bit, but not too much. You gotta get out of my way. Actually, gotta pass him on the outside. Going too wide. I might actually legit have a chance of winning this. Especially if I keep cheating like the way I am right now. Pretty much second gear throughout most of the course. As long as I just don't lose it. I outhandle them. A lot. He's going to start pulling away from me again, but I might be able to make it past him on this turn or the final turn at least. I'm going to take him out, or go on the outside, and then see if I can just... Oh my god, he slowed down a ton right there. Well, that's definitely a surprise. I wasn't expecting a win like that. I might have to do some upgrades for other tracks, but... Hey, that wasn't bad, even though I drove like an asshole. 148 spec points. 
And yeah, on to the next race. After I collect my credits, that is. Only 600 credits, but better than nothing. Alright, so I'm actually going to do just a tiny, tiny, tiny upgrade to this thing. It's probably that's all it's going to need. Just a couple extra horsepower, not classics. If, if, oh, hello there. Fastest car in the game. Uh, let's see what there is. 63 to 77. Woo. 67. Sixty-nine. Ha ha, sixty-nine sex jokes. Ha ha, very funny. Could do some nitrous. But I'll definitely do this. Now I can't afford a turbo, great. Well yeah, I can, whatever. Uh Yeah, let's go with this. Semi racing exhaust. And, yeah, that'll be it for this. On to the next race at Beginner Course. And I probably could have done this stock, but too late, I already upgraded it, whatever. Alright, so here we go for four laps on the Driving Park Beginner Course. Cut the shit out of the corner right there, but, yeah. I may have been fine just doing this race stock, but I already did the upgrades, it's not that much, so let's see what we can do this time. Already just like have a huge advantage over all these people, well, AI. Also these AI do not like you passing them, so expect to see a lot of dirty driving and terrible overtakes. I actually did that really nice. I'm gonna try to pass on the inside, because I'm gonna outbreak him. And he hits me, go figure. Pass him on the He's not going to give me room. And he's going to slow down way too much. Trying to go on the inside. Or not. He'll just pull away from me. Outside. Yes. I might even get past the first guy too. If I can. Alright. Didn't touch him. Out breaking. And yeah. I pretty much have secured the lead as long as I don't fuck up. They slow down way too much here, but I can just keep on going. I'm gonna wait to shift until I get around this corner, just so I don't lose that much speed. Alright, there we go. Pretty much have this one in the bag and not much else going on. Just gotta finish this lap. These next few races are definitely gonna be a lot more difficult because they are less technical, less turns, which is where I have the advantage. Longer straights where I have the disadvantage. But we'll see. And there we go. Pretty quick race. Cross the line. 106 A spec points. And yeah. Now I have 69 horsepower. Haha, <laughs> memes. Another 600 cred. On to the next race. Going to the high speed ring this time for two laps. This is where it's gonna get tough. But I'm gonna keep trying, anyways. Alright, so the first attempt was a fail because a certain Pojo kept pulling away from me and I, I just didn't have the straight line speed to keep up with it. So we're gonna try again with this field. 114 A spec points. Still a good amount. But the question is, can I actually keep up with this group? 
I got a much better launch this time because last time I tried to control wheel spin, which there clearly isn't going to be any on this car, so it was kind of retarded. These guys are going to pull away, but I expect that to happen. But I will catch up in the corners at least. Just depends on how far the the pole position gets away. It's really all that matters. So, yep, just crawling along. Way behind, but I'll catch up to them, like I said. Maybe if I had NOS on this thing, I'd probably be way up there. No brakes for this, just let off the throttle a tad so I don't spin out or lose momentum by sliding. Caught up to these guys pretty easily. Don't hit the... Alright, yep, I'll just hit it. Lose a bunch of momentum. Okay, yeah, just brake check me again. The AI kind of suck on this track, specifically. It's always in that section, too. But yeah, they like to break on this corner as well, so... I should keep up with them enough to stay in the slipstream. Might have to pass them on the outside because they like to hug the inside, as anyone would. Uh, do I go for it? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. It opened up enough. So first place position I won't be able to keep up with, but hopefully this... I think that's an Eagle Talon. He'll pass me and I'll be able to hop into Slipstream and keep up a little bit more. Yep, Eagle Talon. Come on, give me a boost. Ah, damn it. Oh, it actually did give me a tiny boost. And we'll see if I've gained enough ground to actually be able to pass him after... on the second. Uh, okay, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Why did I downshift? That was completely retarded of me. Okay. I have them on this corner. And smack. Alright, now I'm just going to maintain the lead. They're going to slow down on this turn up here, so... I should be good. Oh, okay, thanks for the boost. Uh, I probably should set myself up for this turn better, but I think I'm good still. Yep, they slow down, and I keep going. Because I have superior handling. And there we go. Took two attempts because of a certain opponent in my first attempt, but hey, let the wheels shake on the last few hundred feet, why not? There we go, race three down, two to go. Another 600 credits in the wallet. Time for race number four at Sp Clubman stage, not special stage, it's Clubman stage Route 5, which is the short version of special stage Route 5. I don't know about this lineup because of that BMW, but we're gonna, we're gonna try anyways. 106 asex, asex, yes, asexual points. Hoorah for Pride Month. Alright, well, just as I expected, that track is too not technical enough, it's, it's too straight. Too reliant on speed to actually have a shot of winning that. So I'm going to get back in my Miata. Going to take the turbo kit off of it and try that again. Mainly because of the rolling start at the beginning. You're just way too far off the first place position to even have a chance at getting like around 100 A spec points. So yeah, rolling starts in this game are kind of a bitch for short races. So, I'm going to take off the turbo kit and try this again.
you know, turbine kit, turbo kit, whatever the fuck. I don't know why it's called a turbine kit in that menu, but whatever. Let's give this another shot. 54 A spec points. All right. Eh. About half as much as the cappuccino, but we'll go with it. Looks like they're already pulling away from me. Just a tad, though. I will catch up to them in the corners because I, like the cappuccino, have superior handling. Just gotta get around this fit, which is gonna be in my way and it's gonna irritate me quite a bit. See if he will give me room. Which he's not, go figure. Oh, smack. I don't know if I've gained enough time to have a chance at winning this yet. Because, like I said, only two laps around this place. You saw how huge the gap was at the beginning of the race. But I am carrying a lot more speed through this, even more speed than the other Miata. So yeah, I... yeah, I'll definitely win this one, as long as they don't fuck up. At least it's not 10 A-spec points again. It's gonna be a problem, like, I'm gonna have a car that's too slow, and then my backup car is gonna be too fast, and the gap in A-spec points is gonna be huge because of it. So there's kind of going to be a bitch to get the just the right amount of A-spec points per race, so that's kind of what I'm going to have to deal with. But, whatever. I better pay attention because that was just bad. Still losing it. God damn it. Okay. Alright. That was horrible. And I got passed. But I think I'm good. I'll carry more momentum through this turn. I mean, though, both of these cars are stock. The AI just... They need a buff. He is riding the inside wall. Yep, he braked for no reason. Thanks for the easy win, I guess. And yeah, there we go. Another easy win. Well, I'm saying these wins are easy, but it's easy whenever I make them easy. If that makes any sense. Six hundo once again. And we just got one more race to win, and we get a prize car as well, so that's neat. Alright, final race at Moteki Short. And I'm going to stay in the Miata because this one's really reliant on straight line speed once again, so the cappuccino just won't cut it. Plus, yet again, we get another rolling start, so that's awesome. And, yeah, let's get right into it. Another 54 A-spec points. We got a PT loser in front of me, so that's cool. We do have that bastardly Pojo, though. The one that was giving me trouble on high speed ring. So, like, considering he's starting in fourth, I probably shouldn't have an issue with it. So, yeah, final lap of the beginner cup. At Motegi Short. Which is. Kind of an oval track with the chicane on it. Not much to say about this. Whoa, okay, I help, I help break the shit out of that corner. I tell you what. Okay, that's. I could have taken that faster, but I was just gonna ram that car anyways. Already pretty much halfway to the lead, distance-wise. Seizure time. Alright, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> I 
Just got to keep your momentum up and outbreak everyone else. The AI aren't that good at breaking in this game, so use it to your advantage. Or just punt them into the gravel like a Forza player would do. Oh, shit. A little too wide right there. But I'm going to pass him in three, two, one. Oh, okay. Now we do. Okay, I hit him again. Nice. And yeah, cakewalk. So the reason why you're not going to see me driving in this camera view is that it feels really funny and it's a little too stiff. Kind of makes you feel like you're spinning out when you're really not. It just gives you that, like, feeling. So, yeah, don't expect to see this camera view much, but if I'm in the lead and it's an easy race, I might switch to it. I don't know. I just don't particularly like it on this game. I'm edging into the grass there for some reason. Took that perfectly. And I'm going into the grass. Oh god, I'm going into the gravel as well. Did not want to downshift right there, but I did anyways. And yeah, final race of the beginner cup is in the bag. Just letting the wheel fuck off like I do at the end of every race. And yeah. Sadly, this isn't the most boring of the series on this game. There's actually ones that are even worse. A lot worse. So that sucks. But 600 creds. And we get a prize car for winning the event. And our prize car is going to be... Autobanshi A112 of Barth. I think this is a Fiat, if I'm not mistaken, because of Barth. Meh. Maybe it'll have a use, maybe it won't. But not that exciting. We'll take a look at it anyways. Where you at? Where you at? There you go. So yeah. This cute little thing. And decent amount of credits to sell, but I'm actually going to try and... Save all the prize cars I get, and I'll sell duplicate ones, like, for money grinding, like I said, but... Yeah, in the next episode, we'll tackle the FF event. Front, front engine, front wheel drive. Event thingamajig. Fuck it, I don't know. Yeah, stay tuned.